So this time we're going to look at the way that you can virtually test things in Fusion 360 using the simulation workspace. So what we're going to do is test one of the components of our leg assembly to see if it's strong enough. We're going to test this lower linkage here. And the way we do that is we go from the model workspace down to the simulation workspace to do that which is where we can run some stress analysis to see whether our part is actually strong enough. So if you click on the simulation workspace it brings up the option to choose a new type of study and we're going to be doing a static stress study in this particular instance so that's all good to go and you'll see now the part appears and we've lost the colour information because that's not really important um, for this study but what we want to do now is isolate our linkage and do our stress analysis work just on this lower linkage. Now the ribbon has changed across the top but the workflow remains exactly the same. You work from left to right. We've already chosen our study. So the next thing we want to do now is simplify our design. Now what we can do here is we can select say the linkage that we're looking for which is this linkage 1. And if we right click on it, we can actually choose the option that says remove all except selected. So we've selected that linkage and if we now do a remove all, that's simplified our design. It's not made any changes to our actual model. This is just for the simulation workspace now that it's isolated that, that linkage. So now I've done that, I can go to finish simplify. And now I can actually start to run my stress analysis. So as we move across here, we've got the opportunity to select the material that we want to run this study for. Now if you remember, we made this linkage an ABS plastic, so that's fine. If I did want to try out different materials, I could choose that from this list of study materials. So it doesn't have to be the material that you chose in the actual model. You can use this menu to choose an alternative if you want to try out different materials and see how they behave. But I'm going to leave that as ABS plastic, so I'm going to click OK with that. The next thing we need to do is apply some constraints. So when you apply a load to something, if you don't hold it down in a particular area, it's not really going to uh, give you any stress analysis results. So we need to fix one end of this linkage, and I'm going to fix the inside surface of that hole. So this is now going to be held still. And if I zoom in, you should be able to see there's now a padlock on that surface. And that's indicating that I've got a constraint around that particular hole. The next thing I'm going to do is choose a load. So I'm going to choose a structural load. And I'm going to apply that load inside this hole. So not that edge. I'm going to try and select that particular face there. So that's now an upward load. I actually want that to be a vertically downward load. So I'm going to rotate that around. So that's 180 degrees around from where it first was. And now I can actually type in a load. And I'm going to apply 10 newtons of load to this particular end of the lever. So this is being held at this end and the load's being applied at this end. Now click OK. I'm not going to worry about contacts because this is a very simple model to solve. And now I can go to the solve menu and do this thing called pre-check. And a pre-check will check that the study has actually got all the information it needs to run that study successfully. If there are any errors that it sees, it will give you uh, a panel here that will tell you what it's found wrong with the setup. So in this case, we've got everything that we need. So now we can go back to the solve menu and solve this particular study. Now at this point you've got two options. You can solve on the cloud or you can solve locally. Now this is a fairly simple and straightforward uh, study so we can do this locally but when you get to more complicated studies then the cloud is really necessary to, to run those because it involves a lot of computation and it's better to let the cloud do that and not rely on your local computer to do that. But in this case, we are actually going to run this locally. So click on local and then hit solve. And it's now started that solve study. And you can see here now these, there's a blue bar tracking across that's actually creating the progress of this particular stress analysis study. So just a couple of seconds, it should come back with the, the results for that. And then we can look at 
graphically how that shows up on Fusion 360 and gives you an idea of whether your design is good to go or whether you maybe need to think of some modifications. So this is the result of the study and the first thing that pops up is this panel here. This is the results detail panel and this tells you, this is your first indication whether your component is good to go. I've got a nice green tick there, it's telling me that the safety factor is 3.38 so anything over 3 generally for a safety factor it thinks is, is good. If your safety factor is less than 3 it will tell you your design's marginal, if it's less than 1 it will tell you it's really uh, it really does need some attention and if it's higher a much higher number in terms of safety factor it will tell you that uh, it's over engineered now it's not here on this but if you're anything other than this green tick then down here you'll get a recommendations area where you can actually open that up and it will actually give you some suggestions of things that you can do to either um, reduce the over engineering of the part or increase the strength if, it, if it's looking to be weak. So this is the first indication uh, of the results that you see as to whether your design is good. So that's, that's a great panel to pop up and give you that. What you can now look at is this study in a number of different ways. So currently if we drop down to here we're looking at this in terms of safety factor. So the safety factor I've got, the, the worst area for this is around this hole. I can also look at it if I click on this drop down and select the stress radio button. That will show me the stress. So you can see on this that the highest stress is around this hole and the least amount of stress is at the opposite end of the lever. If I now click to the displacement option, this is showing you the different displacements and as you probably expect, the most amount of deflections occurring at this far end and it actually tells you how much that deflection is. So under that 10 newton load, this linkage is deflecting just under half a millimetre. So that's a, a way of uh, understanding how much deflection there is and whether you've got a safe design. What you can also do is if you go to the results panel and go to animate, it does allow you to actually play an animation so I'm just tick the two-way option there and when I now click on play it's actually showing me that lever deflecting or that linkage deflecting under that 10 Newton load. Now this, uh, this movement here at this end is very much exaggerated just to give you an idea as to the way that the part will deflect. It obviously looks like it's bending much more than half a millimeter so you do need to look at the actual value and not just the graphical representation on the screen. But there we've just quickly done a very quick stress analysis study, a virtual test on our part, and if we found a problem uh, with this part we could quickly go back into the model environment, make a change, and then come back into this and run that study again. So this is a great way in Fusion 360 to do virtual testing on your parts before you ever go near making them. Uh, so you can really check out before you actually go to physical manufacture that your part's strong enough. So it's fairly simple to run. You use the same left to right um, methodology across the top ribbon to set up your study and then solve it and then look at the results and see if you've got a safe design.